What is up, boys and squirrels? It is your boy, the wizard. Welcome back to the channel. If it is your first time here and you've ever used bowstring wax as chapstick before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, we got something a little bit different. It has been a minute. I hope that everybody out there has had a great archery and rifle season in Pennsylvania. Anybody out there still grinding, still looking to fill that tag after Christmas here. Stay the course, my dudes. I'm right along with you. Uh, Let's just get right into this. Uh, I'm, I'm here to tell you why action cameras are still legit and why they're awesome and a great thing to have if you're out, you wanna get into filming your hunts, you wanna start filming your you know fishing trips, adventures. I think this is you know a great place to start. There's been multiple people recently asking me what what they should get. They wanna start filming their hunts. They wanna start filming their fishing trips. You know, what, what should I get? This is what I'm going to recommend 90% of the time to you know anybody that's asking me that. Uh, there's a number of reasons why, but most of them are you know pretty simple. It's it's small, it's light, it's simple to use. There's only two buttons on it. You can't screw it up. It's waterproof. It's durable. You know, and like I said, it's, it's quick, light, and fast. That, that's the main thing uh, when you're on these adventures, especially by yourself. You know, you don't want to be you know messing around with a tripod or hanging it up and you know lugging this around. Um, for one, uh, when I'm, when I'm by myself and, you know, I'm solo on an adventure, uh, this is what I use 90% of the time, you know, depending on what I'm doing. And it's for all the reasons I just listed ahead above it. all the reasons I listed before. Um, it's just a small, light, fast, easy, you know, but what I wanted to talk to you guys today about is how you can use this camera to you know, be very creative with what you're doing, uh, you know, to maybe add that extra little sprinkle of pizzazz to your videos. And uh, it's a lot easier than you think, and it's a lot cheaper than you think um, to turn you know something like this into full-fledged you know workhorse for your channel. And uh, this is this is how I do it. So first up, uh, the one thing that I would definitely recommend is a uh, selfie stick. Um, pretty obvious, I guess. Um, this is uh, Insta360 brand one. So this is, you know, a little bit more than the uh, Amazon $12, you know, China one. There's nothing wrong with the $12 one. They work great. Don't, don't let that deter you. This is, you know, just personal preference here. But any selfie stick will work great. And you can do a number of things with them. Um, like in this clip right here, you can do the, you know, just the standard selfie, selfie mode type stuff, um, you know, extend it out in front of you here, like on the, on the lift here at TAC, um, you know, it, but you can get a little more unconventional with it. Uh, you know, you can extend it, extend your arm all the way out, hold it low to the ground behind your subject or, you know, whatever you're walking into to kind of get that real dramatic uh, look. And because this is, you know, again, waterproof and, you know, pretty rugged you can slap this baby through that tall grass you know put it in the water like right here you know you can see i'm dunking it under the water to get the paddle of the kayak coming through the river you know you can get really creative with just the selfie stick here um but this last shot right here and this is uh i guess maybe a product of newer newer cameras but all, all the newer ones and it's not just the insta 360 brand the new gopros uh the stabilization in these new cameras is unbelievable and uh this shot right here all, all i did was just extend the selfie stick all the way up and i held it above my head and i just walked behind chucky right here for 20 yards and there was a couple people like oh man you brought your drone down there and i'm like no nah, man that was the that was the little camera and uh, uh you know that, that that's all it takes just to get those you know kind of cheater shots like that with you know all on the same camera that's the biggest thing here one camera so the next thing staying in that same vein that i would recommend and I, this is you know for any camera not just this one but a, a tripod um specifically one of these these little ones right here um they sit nice and low to the ground you can get these on amazon again uh, for very cheap, this uh, this particular one is a DJI one. This came with my gimbal, so this doesn't count, but you can get any of the China brands. I have a couple of them. I could not find one to save my life. I think it's in one of my other bags in the garage. But again, that's another $10 item on Amazon, anywhere like that. And these are great, especially during turkey season. Uh, you know, when you have, you know, those moments where you're coming up and you don't really have time to, you know, piddle around with, 
all this crazy stuff, you gotta sit down. So, I mean, if you just have this in your bino harness or, you know, in your water bottle pocket on your bag with your buddy, you just hurry up, whip this thing out, set the tripod up, you know, facing you, hit the button, go, and you're recording, you know. It's quick, easy, and quiet as possible, but the, the low shots with the tripods like this uh, during turkey season are, are great. Uh, we use this and then, you know, if we're with somebody, obviously uh, they have the camera behind you, but, you know, for the shots facing you, it's a great second angle. You know, you really catch, uh, you know, all the action. It kind of makes it a little more dramatic, you know, the franticness of sitting down and all that crazy stuff. But again, this is a very inexpensive, uh, accessory to buy with this camera and I think you should have it. The third uh, one I would like to tell you guys about is the chest strap. Now this particular one here I uh, have this kind of like little double ball head uh, ram mount style uh, thing on it but what I did was I took the shoulder straps off of this one and I use this and you see I have a, a knot tied in to shorten it up strap this around the tree behind me and then uh you know once i have the camera in it's behind me right there when i'm in the tree or if i'm on the ground you know it's it's right behind me and again one button to turn it on it's behind me oh there's some deer coming when i reach you know turn around to grab your bow hit the button one time you're recording and you get great shots you know one of the coolest shots we ever got was uh jeff's little deer little buck mountain buck on the last day of late season a couple years ago that's what we had running behind him was the old gopro and it, it to this day it's still one of my favorite shots we've ever gotten and it was you know just on a little camera like this i also do have a second chest strap that i do keep the shoulder straps on yeah for you know wearing it traditionally which i never do but uh this particular one i have this like kind of little joby arm on it which came with another piece of gear which i'm going to talk about in a minute um but I mount this on my floaty tube. Um, I just strap this baby around uh, one of the pontoons in the front, and this sits up in front of me, you know, right here, facing back. Uh, if you watch any of the bowfin videos, uh, you know, I got these these shots here um, with this, and it's just easy, just you know, spin it around, have it on the whole time, turn it around, whatever, you know, and it's good to go, and you'll catch everything. Um, this little like arm thing actually came with the next piece that I'm going to tell you about here, which is this clip. It's just like a little, little clamp clip. Very simple. Again, none of these accessories are over $20 if you work hard enough on Amazon. Um, and this uh, Joby arm came on top of this clip right here. This is actually what I used to use in my old tree stand because it had a bar in the front that I could just clamp this baby onto and have that Joby arm or whatever. But now I started running behind me just because it's out of the way you know if you're shooting and you know, whatever but i still use this a lot this will clamp onto the barrel of a shotgun and if you're turkey hunting if you're small game hunting you know and have the camera you can face it forward back or whatever way you need it to and uh, you know you can get underneath the barrel here so it's out of your sight picture um so just to wrap wrap this up um Anybody out there that has an action camera is out there filming their stuff, getting after anybody that, you know, does maybe have the big camera that's, you know, looking to add a little something, something to the bag of tricks or, you know, has all this stuff and, you know, maybe, maybe this is a new idea to you. I, I know none of the stuff that I'm doing is, you know, groundbreaking, but there's not a whole lot of videos out there that are, you know, geared towards guys that are filming hunts, especially on YouTube, guys that are filming their fishing trips, you know. Uh, this is just a very, you know, small thing, and this is, you know, more geared toward people that are, you know, looking to get into this, uh, that, you know, want to start making their own stuff, that want to have these memories, not necessarily to show to, uh, you know, everybody on YouTube like we do, but, you know, have it on your phone when you're at work, show your buddies, hey, you know, check this out, and, you know, have something fun to show them, but, guys, I hope you get out there, I hope you don't give a crap what anybody says, film your stuff, have fun with it. Go spend a couple bucks. You know, this is nothing to carry around in your bag. This is, you know, nothing. Get out there. Get after it, guys. Be good to each other. Stay the course. And uh, if you have any questions, hit the comments down below. See you around, guys.